Hi everyone, Otto Vega here. I hope you're doing good. So I want to talk about my past and about dating, the safe method of dating, the way I date. You know, and I'm, the thing is, I'm just being upfront. Any family members or friends that come on, I don't want you looking for me. No one in the family is allowed to look for me. Uh, my friends aren't allowed to look for me because I believe you're allowed to look for yourself, you know. And without family, because our culture, my culture, thinks that family have to look and it's disrespectful you don't have to look with parents that's why people say arranged marriages are forced and in a lot of cases it is people pretend that and it isn't but a lot of arranged marriages are forced a lot aren't but a lot are that is the truth and no one talks about it if you don't talk about it then you're turning a blind eye to it everyone gets angry when celebrities don't comment on the palestine situation but you know why doesn't everyone get angry when it comes to the topic of arranged marriages muslims never comment on it Hardly anyone does. That's why I always go on about him. So I'm gonna talk about my past. I've only been out ever with three girls. And you know, three girls. Now one serious relationship I was in, but two relationships didn't ended very quickly. You know, one of them ended before the first date. But I was not in the wrong, she was in the wrong, she was meant to meet me up. And then from there, um she back she didn't talk to me for a week. And then she acted like a victim, saying, I don't want to fight, etc. But then I just dumped her. The second relationship or third one, I can't remember if it was the second or third one. I think it was the second one. It ended. You know, um, she ended it, and that's fine. She did it respectfully. I wasn't offended. You should be told she was weird. The third one, that was a serious relationship. It wasn't long, but it was longer than before, a few months. But I was in love with her. That was the truth. You know, and girls have said I'm good looking, you know, uh, I've had curvy girls, like really curvy looking girls, like celebrities, you know, looking like celebrities that flirt me, you know, trust me, the amount of temptation I've had to face, the amount of girls I could have asked if I wanted to, um, I could have had a lot of girls if I wanted to, but I'm spiritual, I believe in God, and you know, if I dated the right girl, I'd have sex with her before marriage, that's the truth, but, you know, um, the thing is, um, you know, I'm spiritual, I believe in God. So I'm not part of any religion. So, you know, the thing is, um, just remember, you know, don't let the past discourage you. And I don't, you know, some people think I'm picky, and I am picky, I have the right to be, because I want a serious relationship, but I don't want to get married like in an arranged marriage. And, you know, the thing is, um, like, um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Sorry, I'm tired. Um, so, you know, I'm picky. And there's nothing wrong with it. People say, you, you know, you can't be picky. Lots of elders are picky in arranged marriages. Lots of girls and guys are picky. Girls want money. Most girls want money. Most guys want a pretty girl, a virgin. Muslim men especially who go clubbing. And, you know, they're hypocrites. And, you know... Sorry, I'm just trying to remember what I was going to say. I do apologize for going on and on. Normally my videos are smooth, but today I just feel a bit rusty on this one. The last two I did were smooth. But, you know, the point is, it's okay to be picky. A lot of elders are picky, but they're judgmental about it. I mean, you get these fat elders that go on about, you know, look at these fat aunties on TV, rich aunties on TV. They've got the same body type. They all look fat. And the thing is, um, you know, they go on about, they stare at you in a weird way. You know, they're going about marriage, they're going about the looks of girls and guys. And some fat rich aunties need to look at themselves in the mirror. They all look the same. Watch them on TV. You know, some of them just look fat and have fat, short, chunky bodies. And, you know, they need to lose weight. And this isn't, no, I'm not apologizing because rich aunties need to get humbled. My videos are controversial. You know, and I do these videos for a reason because people need to be taught a lesson. I'm brutally honest. So, you know, this is just my opinion. You know, people need to humble themselves. You know, I don't think I'm all that, but girls do think I'm good looking and handsome. That is the truth. I had weight on me. You know, girls will be all over me even more. So, you know, I'm going to put on weight anyway, but I'm not doing it for girls. I'm doing it for myself and for the person I end up with because I want a curvy girl. You know, I could get away with dating a curvy girl regardless of how skinny I am, but, you know, the truth is I want to put on weight so I look good for her. Just like I want a curvy girl to look good for me. But anyway, uh, back to that relationship thing. So... You know, uh, I'm not going to talk about what happened in the relationship exactly, 
that's private, but you know, it was serious for me anyway. But she was in the wrong. And you know, the thing is, um, I don't have trust issues. I mean, I used to be afraid of rejection, but I've conquered hard master meditation. But you know, the thing is, if I was to go out, I want to talk about the safe method day now. There's lots of bad boys, girls love them. But you know, girls are stupid. Most girls are stupid. They just go out, they hang out with the gangsters in college, they go out of thugs. You know, I'm not saying every person dresses up like a girl looking person is a thug, but most girls are stupid. They honestly are. You know, they have a bad taste of men, and then, you know, when they're 16, they go out a lot, a lot old men older than them. You know, and the thing is, um, the thing is, most girls are just not cool. She's fine, the daughter, she went out of a ghetto person. That's her fault then if she gets dumped or mistreated. I'll have sympathy, but you know, girls need to call themselves on it. They love thugs, generally speaking. Now you're gonna say, no, they don't. But then why do most girls go out with the thug looking guys and hang out with them? Why don't they hang out with the nerds? The quiet, the good guys. Nice guys, because girls think it nice is feminine. Nice is not weakness, it's strength. It's manliness. Most girls are on the idea what a man is. They just think a bad boy is what a man is, a ghetto person, basically. You know, most girls are insecure. And like I said, I don't like most girls in general. And, you know, if, some, you know, if my relatives or my friends look, they don't, you know, I wouldn't trust them to look anyway. And I don't want my relatives to look anyway, my parents to look, because it's not their business to look. I have the right to decide who looks at me and who doesn't. It's not disrespect of my culture to look at our family. Our parents and you don't need permission to go out who you want to go out with you don't need to introduce the girl to your parents only if it's serious you do and that's if you when you want to in your own time and for me i need at least a year or two years of dating before i consider marriage no more than two years you know no more than three years but two years of dating that's when i want to get married i don't you know i'll make my I'll, when i'm in a, when i when i do date if i meet the right girl i'll be friends with her when i do meet the right girl i believe that there's decent girls out there. I met a decent girl back in the day in college. You know, she was into me. I didn't see her at the time. I do regret it, but I don't regret it at the same time because regrets make you what you are. I've watched the 50 Cent interview I posted up on my Facebook. You know, I don't have any regrets. But, you know, she was into me. I didn't love her, but, you know, she had an energy to her, vibe to her. She was stunning as well. You know, like, honestly, the most beautiful person I've ever seen. That's true. It was like a movie, like the way, I, the way I saw her, like a Bollywood movie. But, you know, I wasn't in love with her, but it's the past. You know, I've moved on, and that's that. So, the thing is, um, going back to what I'm saying, um, what was I going to say? I do apologize, I'm just rusty now. The last two videos, I was fine. Please bear with me and watch this video, because it's good. It's, so, the safe method of dating. You know, is first of all, if you want to be in a serious relationship, just make it clear. If a girl likes you, sending you signals, guy does. You know, be upfront. Okay, I can see that you're sending me signals, but you know, I'm not going to ask you out because I need to be in a serious relationship, but not one where I want to get married straight away. I don't want to get married straight away. Maybe in a year or two, for example. You don't have to say that straight away, but you know, um, I think two years is perfect, not in a year, because you have to live with the person before marriage. And, you know, you don't know anyone in this day and age. You're religious, you come from a religious family. You have to stand up to your family. You know, if you want to sleep in the same bed or whatever, if you want to live with your parents, or you just get your own place. Anyone get a job and rent a flat. It's not hard. So, you know, do what you got to do, even if it goes against your parents and culture. You know, you have the right to especially girls in my culture. Dress up how you want. Things like that. You know, I love you if a girl, you know. Personally, I won't dare a girl unless she stands up for herself. You know, and stands up to her parents, because I will stand up to her parents if she used to hold up to dress. I will interfere. You know, because I want my girl, you know, whoever I end up with to dress up in a mini skirt, you know, revealing clothes. Because I like girls looking like, I want her to look like a celebrity, basically. That's my taste in girls. I like curvy girls. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, even if you are spiritual. That's why I believe I'm not part of religion. I've got my own beliefs. You know, you're allowed to talk about the subject of sex. Parents, sex. parents don't talk about it to their kids and they leave into it. And then most kids just have sex most guys most girls just have sex very few people have virgins and just because you have an arranged marriage does not mean you're marrying a virgin you know some of my friends will think their sisters are virgins some of my relatives think their daughters are virgins you know they're not they're probably not maybe they are and it's just the truth and i'll say it to anyone's face 
you know, back in the day I wore them, but now I just feel bored. And I talk about these videos online, I'm not afraid of saying it to anyone's face. You know, I upload these videos in front of everyone, but they're public profiles, they're not digs to anyone. If I am a dig, I'm very specific. Well, there's nothing on this video was a dig. It was just me being up front to any family members who come on and thinking of looking at me. No one in the family is allowed to look at me. And I say it clearly to any family member that asks. I'm not afraid of telling a family member just to mind their own business if I had to. But I don't do that, I just say no calmly. And it wouldn't be wrong if I did. I should be told the subject of marriage annoys me. You know, why don't people focus on other things? There's more to life than marriage. Be a millionaire. You know, do other things. You know, everyone would love to be a millionaire and be able to provide for their kids. And that's what I'm going to do by the end of next year with these videos. I'm going to be a millionaire. Patrick Matt David liked my videos. Look him up. My mom and Samir, who's my cousin, saw the screenshot of it. My mom didn't support my gaming at first, but she did after that. She bought me a thousand pound gaming laptop after that when she saw the screenshot. So, you know, she probably doesn't remember, but that's why she, she messaged me saying, do you want a gaming laptop? All of a sudden, and, you know, it paid off. I wish I uploaded it on Instagram and Facebook. So, you know, he's interviewed The Rock, Kevin Hart. He's a massive entrepreneur, you know, and the fact is he's been on my gaming videos, you know, back in the day. Now I'm going to get his attention again. I don't want him to mentor me as a, ma as a gaming manager. You know, I want Eminem as my gaming manager. I want Eminem as my rap teacher. But, you know, some of you are going to think, why Eminem in gaming? It's just a feeling about him. My intuition tells me Eminem. And then for my YouTube channel, I want Roberto Blake to manage me. So, you know, I'm not afraid of asking what I want. And if Patrick and David comes to my videos, you know, he can get Eminem to come to my videos if he wants to. If he knows Eminem, he knows a lot of people. So I'm going to try and get his attention again and, you know, leave this video up, put it in the highlight section of the X, and hope for the best. It's not too late, I'm 34, but it's never too late to do anything. People have succeeded in their 50s. You know, like KFC owner, he became a millionaire at 50 or something. Look at KFC now. So, you know, people can do it at whatever age. It's never too late. And even if you can't, if you're like 80, then just get peace of mind because that's the biggest achievement. For me, med lasting meditation is the biggest achievement. I'm not attached to career goals. I just want money because it buys happiness. I only want to find for my kids when I have them. You know, I want them to have a nice, luxurious life. You know, I want to be able to provide for people as well. Not that any millionaire has to, except leaders and government people. But, you know, I want to fix the world and help fix the poor, fix the girl everything give th these kids opportunities that they don't have let them feel safe because they don't feel safe look at all these racist riots that are going on you know uh, in the UK these some of these racist white people find Muslims and just burning down police stations I think uh, police stations sorry not stations and this is the thing it just it just shows you how unsafe the world is but you know in terms of dating now I would never date someone just because they're good looking. Everyone just goes on about looks, you know, elders, younger people, and they just think that's it. And then they pressure you. They have had cousins, a cousin pressure me, uh, an aunt pressure me, um, you know, and that's the thing. You know, looks does not mean you date them. Looks are a bonus, yeah, and you know, looks do matter to me. Sorry to anyone that's, you know, offended, but most people find looks do matter. I want a curvy looking girl, that's the truth. So, you know, the thing is, uh, you just got to be yourself and, you know, ask, be picky if you want, to set your boundaries with family members and friends, dress up how you want. But the same method of dating is uh, knowing someone that's friends. Why would you date a stranger? And that's what everyone does. Some will say, take a risk. I disagree. You, take, you know, when you become friends with someone at school, you don't just invite them to the house. You get to know them first. Then you invite them. So, you know, this is my method of dating and I want to teach it to the world because I think people need to date this way because there's a problem with relationships, both dating and arranged marriages. You know, there really is a problem and it needs to change. You need to know the person before you decide to, say, engage them or date them. Stay as friends and then, you know, date, but then say you want a serious relationship but you're not going to come on strong if that's if that's what you want. You know, you could be just coming on strong. So it's, not, it's not wrong to come on strong. Some people like it, some don't. But the thing is... Uh, just, um, you know, make your boundaries clear, say, you know, you're looking for a serious relationship, and that's fine, you know, that's why you say to the person that's sending you signals, if they do like you, to, uh, you know, you do like them, but you're not sure about them yet, and, you know, you prefer to be friends, because you're a stranger, etc., that's what I would say, 
Just learn to express yourself, practice expressing yourself. If you practice saying your opinion whenever you disagree with someone, when you practice not lying no matter what, which is very difficult, you know, if someone's ugly and they ask you, you have to say it. It gives you confidence in speaking your mind. Some people are ugly and, you know, you have to say it if, if some girl or guy asks you. So that's the truth. I'm sorry if it sounds horrible, but, you know, being honest is, you know, the best policy. It's good for your throat chakra. So it's up to you. If you agree or disagree, I prefer being honest. I'll be honest as much as possible. I'm not perfect, but I'm very good at it. Really good at it now. I can say anything to anyone's face. I can disagree with anyone. I feel very confident in speaking my mind. I feel I can have to pay anyone. That's the truth. Even, you know, experts that are celebrities. I'm not going to always be running debates, but I feel I can just debate with anyone. So that's a safe method of day, and that's how I'm going to date when I'm friends with someone. But without looking with friends or family. I'll just meet people myself. You know, I'll go to social activities of friends. You know, if there's other girls there, I'll just talk to them. But, you know, I won't ever let anyone look for me. If anyone asks, I'll just keep saying no. And that's the truth. And that's how you set boundaries or just and do your own thing against society. The ones that don't follow the crowd are the ones that are in the right. The ones that follow the crowd are the ones that are in the wrong. Remember that. Oh, as that's really it in terms of this video. I'm sorry for uh, sliding down and not, not doing a smooth video today in regards to this. This wasn't a dick to anyone if anyone thought that, any family members or friends that came on. You know, I wouldn't be specific if it was. I wouldn't say who. I'm not scared to say who, but sometimes I do aim to teach a couple of people a lesson. Otherwise, um, that's really it. So, you know, that's it really. So, in terms of that, everything else I've done now on this subject, don't forget to check out my TV, my way she's speaking videos on YouTube. Follow me on X, where I'm most active on and Follow me on Facebook, um, on Instagram. I'm active on both those profiles, but mostly on X. Otherwise, thank you all for coming. Don't forget to share and like my videos and comment when I upload them on YouTube. Have a good day.